so there might not be direct scientific evidence that oatmeal increases your milk supply. It is though traditionally believed to boost your supply and it really does work for many women. Personally I felt that I had a much better milk supply after I increased my oatmeal consumption. Oatmeal is not only a good source of iron but also a perfect comforting carbohydrate. It's great for anybody in any phase, whether pumping breast milk or not. I eat it all the time and feed it to my kids in all different forms and they love it. How did I come up with this recipe? Well, I needed something that was ready and portable and something that was nutritionally balanced to keep my body happy, physically and mentally. It works perfect for mothers exclusively pumping because they hardly have time to do anything else and it's just a great snack to munch on when you get stressed out, without the guilt. The recipe yields around 10 cookies but you can size them the way you want. The best thing about them is not only that they are super moist, because of the banana and mango, and crunchy, because of the walnuts, but they also take an amazingly short time to throw together. You just have to mix up a bunch of ingredients with a spoon, no electric mixer necessary. You just have one spoon to clean and one bowl to wash, that's it. Here's the recipe for 10 cookies, 1 cup rolled oats, 1 tablespoon coconut flakes, 2 tablespoons dried cranberry, 1 fourth cup cut up dried mango, 1 fourth cup walnuts chopped to your liking, 2 scoops vanilla whey protein, pinch of salt to ripe bananas, 1 tablespoon oil. I used all of 2 tablespoons almond milk or milk mix up to the oats, coconut flakes, whey protein, salt, dried fruits and walnuts in a bowl. Smash the ugliest and ripest bananas you can find with a fork and add them to the mixture, together with the oil and almond milk. You can add a bit more milk depending on the consistency. Bake about 7 minutes at 160C fan setting, 320F. Take them out when they still look a bit undercooked and are just slightly starting to brown on the edges. Let them sit on the tray for about 10 minutes before you remove them. Honestly, I used to think protein powder is only for bodybuilders. I started taking them when I got on a workout routine and figured out that lifting weights is the only way to tone up and get rid of the flab. Then I realized that protein powder is actually a great meal substitute for anyone on the run. I've added protein to these because I'm in the shredding phase, I need to get my waistline back, and refuse to cut out my sweet treats. I'm usually low on protein and high on carbs so this is an attempt to balance things out a bit. You can substitute the flour and sugar instead if you like. That's the way I make it for my kids most of the time.